world headquarters of common sense. Talk radio. The aim of this conference was, you know, about sort of inclusion and it was all about, um, you know, it's, it's due to be held to coincide with the 50th anniversary of the first ever London Pride marches and was seen by many as all about, you know, commitment to LGBT rights. Um, the decision to ban gay conversion therapy. Now, um, that, you know, a very popular move. It's not a particularly big thing here in the UK. It's been a big thing in America, sort of forced conversion therapy, already illegal. But why is it an issue for you and your organisation and many other organisations that this doesn't include trans conversion therapy? Well, I think, um, firstly, it is absolutely an issue in the UK. Um, all sorts of young people are subject to conversion therapy in the UK. Um, but secondly, the reason it's important to us as an organisation is that as an LGBT organisation, we're an organisation that supports LGB and T young people, uh, as are all the organisations that have pulled out of the government's conference now. So, of course, we're here to advocate for trans people as well. Um, well, yeah, I'm going to have to say, I've, I've never understood why, the, why LGB and T are linked anyway. One is... Who who I who I am attracted to, and and the and the other is who I am as a person, which to me are, are very very different mm-hmm. things. I, I, well, I think maybe you're right. There are there are of course differences. I mean, some people say it's the same people beating us up, which I think is an interesting mm-hmm. definition. Okay. Um, the key thing here is um, the reason why the government, as I understand it, and I obviously very much support this move. The reason why the government is 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 excluding conversion therapy for transgender people was because we have seen already in this country, even without that ban, we've seen uh, doctors and uh, and other other experts, therapists being being basically sort of pushed away from talking talking to young people who say that they are trans, a young person, a child or older person saying, I believe I'm trans. Someone saying, are you sure it's because, are you trans? Maybe you might be gay. Uh, maybe you're just going through normal teenage feelings of uh, of, of confusion and, and anxiety. Um, we know a lot of people who are seeking conversion therapy are, or, or can be on the autistic spectrum and may have other uh, issues. Some have mental health issues as well. So, the ability to talk about all of that openly and honestly and in a caring way, there's a fear that that would end up being banned. If we said that you can't even question someone saying, I think I'm trans, you immediately then go down that route where you never question it and someone ends up going down uh, the trans route who perhaps didn't need to, didn't want to and shouldn't have gone down that route, but you haven't been allowed to talk about it. So why would that Why would it be a bad thing to stop people talking about it? So no one's suggesting that people are going to be stopped from talking about it. And it's quite an important distinction that conversion therapy is there for the purpose of conversion and for no other purpose. Whereas affirmation therapy, for example, um, does allow clinicians to explore a subject uh, with their patient. And there's never been a suggestion that that would be bad. There has been a suggestion that that would happen and we're already seeing it where people are told if they even question their child. I, I, you know, I I live, I live uh, fairly near the the uh, the Tavistock Clinic, the main gender dysphoria clinic, particularly for young people in this country. And I know people who work there and know what's been going on there and followed it very, very closely because Mm -hmm. of my huge concerns about particularly children being sent down this route. Um, And we know there's already an issue where where a lot of therapists, a lot of people involved in this, feel that they can't question it. At the Tavistock Clinic, we've had a number of people who, senior board level people who've resigned because they felt that you weren't even allowed to question it. If someone, if, if, you know, if my 15 year old came to me and said, I think I'm trans, I would yeah. basically be being be accused of transphobia and so would her teachers and so would anyone uh, at the Tavistock or any other clinic they went to or GP even if they said, well, maybe you're not. Maybe, you know, maybe you're just having some, you know, other thoughts and maybe there are other reasons why you feel that way. Maybe you've been watching too many YouTube videos suggesting this is an option, which we know is a big issue. The number of girls uh, suddenly wanted to be trans going sky high. We are we have already seen people who question anything to do with trans issues being labelled transphobic. I'm labelled transphobic. I'm not transphobic at all. J.K. Rowling, not transphobic at all. Labelled transphobic. We need to keep conversations about a highly controversial, highly contested issue. We need to keep those open. And that's why it's not included in the ban. But so, so, So why is that an issue for you? Well, Julia, the ban's been, for four years, we've been told by the government that, yes, the ban will happen and, yes, it will be trans-inclusive. And surely you can understand, as someone that has campaigned extensively on government flip-flopping, why this is frustrating for us as an LGBT plus community. But it can be frustrating for you, but it doesn't mean it's not the right thing. 
Well, I, I, I think it not being the right thing is separate, but it's it's not the right thing because no one should be subject to conversion therapy. It's absolutely torturous. But it's but it's what you call conversion therapy. Look, if some there are people who are brought up, particularly people who are in religious families, who are brought up to believe that being gay is wrong. I, I disagree with that. I don't think being gay is wrong at all. It's completely natural. Um, however... Um, there are people who will feel that their life will not be happy. If, they, if someone wants to go and see a therapist, I mean, I, I, I think the idea that someone could give therapy to make someone gay or make someone straight, I think is absurd uh, and, 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 and immoral. But, but if someone feels that, should they not be entitled to do it? As long as it's not forced on someone. Well, I think consent in this issue uh, is more complicated than that, because if you've been brought up to believe that a part of your identity is evil, mm -hmm. then of course you're going to seek to change it. It's sort of inevitable. Um, and what we're suggesting is that actually pretending that we can change these things about people which are innate is in itself immoral. Mm -hmm. uh, it doesn't work, uh, and it puts the young person through an enormous amount of pressure, um, and, and we don't think that it's right. OK, I mean, we, we, if it's forced and it's um, coerced in any way, that is already illegal. Um, so that's already covered. Um, uh, again, coming back to the trans issue again, um, I don't understand why you'd pulled out of a global LGBT plus mm. conference. And again, I don't know what the plus is because there isn't any plus. It's just LGBT. Um, I'm sorry. Is, what, there is no plus. That's, it covers, that covers all options. Um, um, I, don't, I don't understand why pulling out of that, out of that conference. I don't know what that's supposed to achieve. Well, I'll explain. So the government has made a promise to us for four years that this will happen, yeah. and it has not. Now, why on earth would we at this point seek further reassurances from a government that has lied to us for four years? There is there is no purpose. Well, they didn't this. lie to you. They said they were going to do it, and then they did it, and then there was a backlash, and then people realised that the implications of doing it for trans people meant that you could actually damage more young people's lives. I mean, if you you're, you, 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 you campaign, you know, you, go and work, you work in primary schools and secondary schools to improve the yeah. lives of LGBT pupils. Well, surely one of the best ways of improving their lives is ensuring that people can have honest and open conversations. And if someone, if a young man or a young, young boy or a young girl says, I think I'm trans, and, yeah. and they could then be effectively, and this is what has been happening, and it is what would happen with this. They could be effectively stopped from getting help and having people honestly talk to them about, you know what? The odds are you're not trans. The odds are you're not born into the wrong body, that you are actually a person you are, and you're just going through a bit of teenage confusion. You may or may not be gay or bisexual, or, or you may have other issues, and, 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 and let's talk about those. We know, we know that that is the case for an awful lot of the young people who claim to be trans. Why are you so scared of that? Well, because I don't, I don't agree with you. I don't think that we do know that that's the case for an awful lot of there's young been, people. There's been, so there's trans. been a massive, I mean, that's like a 3,000% explosion in young girls thinking that they are trans and seeking help. And you think that's just because they were just always trans and they didn't know it. Or do you not do think you, maybe they're watching social media, maybe they're being told this is the solution to all your problems. The fact that, the the fact that a huge percentage of those people who go and get uh, go on get transgender treatment or have are on the autistic spectrum have had other serious mental health problems you don't think that's a cause for concern that needs to be talked about because i do Julia, in the 1930s, there was an explosion in the number of left-handed people. Now, that isn't because there were suddenly lots of left-handed people. It's because schools stopped punishing people for being left-handed. That's exactly what we're seeing at the moment. It just happens that it's girls, not boys. It is boys. No, it's no, boys. no. The increase has been in girls, not in boys. And that's because trans women have always been more visible in the press than trans men. That, that's nothing to do with the media coverage. It's to do with the fact the number of people who are who are applying to have treatment at the at the biggest clinic in this country has shot up by thousands of percent. It just happens to be a shot up among girls, but not among teenage boys. But, but it hasn't shot up beyond teenage boys. It's increased because teenage boys were much higher. OK, you're, 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 I think you're deliberately choosing to miss the point. It just seems right. to me that the ability of people to talk about this stuff openly is far more important and does more help for young people who are confused about who they are, and what they are and what they want to be. Well, you could say the same for lesbian and gay and bisexual young mm -hmm. people, couldn't you? Um, but obviously, in supporting this ban, we don't think that conversion therapy is, is the right approach. And we don't think, I have to say, this idea that conversion therapy promotes conversation, I just don't mm -hmm. think is true. 
conversion therapy is there. The clue's in the title for the purpose yeah. of converting, but, but, not there for any other reason. No, true. But, but my point is that the reason why trans people are excluded is to stop people not being able to have a conversation at all because of the heated debate about this. We'll have to leave it there. Time's against us. Good talk. Hot talk. Hot talk. Bold talk. Talk radio. Listen on your smart speaker. Watch it live on your smart TV. The world headquarters of common sense. Talk radio.